Does Belgium actually want to stop Islamic terrorism? I mean, I know that sounds nuts to ask, but not as nuts as what the Belgians are doing. Here, let me quote to you from impeccably liberal sources so you know I'm not making this up. Here's the New York Times. They reported a few months ago that the Paris terrorist suspects who fled to Belgium after destroying Paris, they wanted to hide in the Muslim no-go zone in Molenbeek and Brussels. The New York Times reported that Belgian police were closing in on those terrorists. These terrorists had killed more than 130 people and injured hundreds more. So Belgian police were closing in on the terrorists, and then, uh-oh, the clock struck 5 p.m., so the police stopped. The headline says it all, really, quote, Belgium says law limiting raids may have allowed suspect in Paris attacks to escape. <laughs> yeah, you think? Here's a detailed quote. Eric van der Sipt, the spokesman for the federal prosecutor in Brussels, who is leading the investigation, said Mr. Abdeslam would have been caught if he were in the house, but acknowledged in a telephone interview that the immediate surroundings and the streets surrounding the property were not sealed off during the night. All we know is that we had good reasons to believe that Salah Abdeslam was in the house that night and that the next morning the raid was negative, Mr. Vanderslip said, because they didn't want to violate his privacy. Seriously, that was what the story says there's a rule in Brussels, police can't raid after 5 p.m. Let me read you another story broken last week by Politico, another impeccably liberal medium. Headline, Belgium questioned Salah Abdeslam for only one hour before attacks. So let me explain. Abdeslam, that was a Paris terrorist who was an Islamic State mastermind. They got him finally in a bit of a shootout and they caught him alive. And then the Islamic State pressed start on their terrorist attack plans on the Brussels airport. So they had days and days in between when they captured the mastermind and the attack happened. But in that whole period of time, they only interrogated him for one hour because, and I'm not making this up, because the terrorists said he was tired. So more than 30 people in Brussels were murdered. Does Belgium actually want to be attacked? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.